Hundreds marching in downtown Salt Lake City tonight as part of Transgender Day of Visibility. Some participants saying this day means a little more this year. ABC 4's Lena Takata live in Salt Lake City tonight with reaction. Lena. Glenn, the event started at the Capitol with many transgender people sharing their stories, followed by a march to City Creek Park and more speeches. Now, many people say this is a day of celebration, but for some people we talked with, they say transgender people existing is an act of resistance. It's good to be with people that support and care about me and the others. Kaylin Wing doesn't play a lot of sports, but with House Bill 11 set to become Utah law, Wing knew she had to attend the Transgender Day of Visibility March to show her support for transgender youth that do. We are a community. It's basically like a brother and sisterhood. You attack us, you attack one, you attack all of us. Another student says she's attending the rally to be seen and heard as a transgender person. No one else will make us visible and we don't present ourselves, they, they might as well not see us. If, if they won't show us, we will show ourselves. According to an organizer of the march, Transgender Day of Visibility is a day to celebrate the existence, resilience, and accomplishments of transgender people everywhere. We're just normal, regular people, and it, we need to just be mainstream. Everybody just needs to look at us and just keep walking. And a day organizers say can show cisgender people, transgender people are your neighbors, co-workers, and friends. A lot of people may not know I'm trans. Maybe today they do because I'm right here. While Wing says she has felt the weight of being discriminated against for being transgender, events like this make her feel a little more accepted. This is another step closer to finally getting the world we've wanted and the world we deserve. Volunteers say there are at least 500 participants at the event today, and the Human Rights Campaign says there are 2 million transgender people in the United States. Live in Salt Lake City, Lena Takata, ABC4 News.